Gilgamesh still looks at Urshabai, saying, Urshabai should not try to be an anti 1889 expression desolate. Should my heart not be wretched? My features not haggard? Should there not be sadness deep within me? Should I not look like one who has been traveling a long distance? And should ice and heat not have seared my face? Should I not roam the wilderness? My friend should chase the wild asses in the mountain, the panther of the wilderness. And could you, my friend, who chased wild asses in the mountain, the panther of the wilderness? We joined together in one second of the mountain. We grappled with one, killed the ball of heaven. We destroyed the home of all who bailed in the cedar forest. We slew lions in the mountain passes, my friend, whom I love deeply, who went through every hardship with me. And to you, my friend, whom I love deeply, who went through every hardship with me, the faith of mankind has overtaken him six days and seven nights. I mourned over him and would not allow him to be buried until a maggot fell out of his nose. I was terrified by his appearance and I began to fear death. So roam the wilderness, the issue of my friend oppresses me. So I've been roaming along the trails through the wilderness, the issue of my friend oppresses me. So I've been roaming along the roads of the wilderness. How can I stay silent? How can I be still? My friend, whom I love, has turned to clay. And to you, my friend, whom I have loved, has turned to clay. And I not like him while I lie down, never to get up again. Gilgamesh spoke to Russia by saying, Now, Russia, what is the way to uh, Utis attach them? What are its markers? Give them to me. Give me the markers if possible. It will prophesy. If not, I will roam through the wilderness. Russia by spoke to Gilgamesh saying, It is your hands, Gilgamesh. Than the crossing. You have smashed the stone things. You have pulled out their retaining ropes. The stone things have been smashed. Their retaining ropes pulled out. Go and take the axe in your hand. Go down into the woods and cut down 300 hunting poles and each 60 cubits in length. Strip them, attach traps, and bring them to the boat. When Gilgamesh heard this, he took out the axe in his hand and drew the dagger from his belt and went down into the woods and cut 300 hunting poles, each 60 cubits in length. He stripped them and attached traps and brought them to the boat. Go and Urshan by Red bearded the boat. Gilgamesh launched the Magalu boat and they sailed away. By the third day, they had traveled a stretch of a mouth and a half. And Urshan arrived at the waters of death. Urshan by Gilgamesh pulled back Gilgamesh and take out hunting roll.